let's take a deeper dive at the offensive line class in the 2014 NFL Draft. Huge position of need for pretty much everyone. You have a good offensive line, you do them pretty well. Building block for the entire offense. Yeah, it's, it's a nice draft for offensive linemen. I think it starts with Jake Matthews just because he's so NFL ready in terms of talent coming from Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. We see Luke Jokel be immensely prepared for the draft last year. This year, I like Jake Matthews a lot, can play either side just fills an immediate void for pretty much two thirds of the NFL. Yeah, you were talking about uh, great technique, good use of his hands. Uh, number two, Greg Robinson. Yes. Not the defensive coordinator at Texas. No, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness we're not drafting him high. No, he is a mauler. He is a moving wall. He will uh, immediately come at you from the right or left side. He's that talented because he is good in pass protection because he is a monster and has quick feet, which is important. He is a prototypical NFL tackle. He will move large men. Xavier Suafilo at three. Yes. Uh, guards don't ordinarily rate as highly no. as tackles. You don't see him go in the first round too often. Last year with uh, two in the top ten, Chance right. Wormack, Jonathan Cooper. Yeah. Very unusual. Uh, is he first round ready? Yeah, I think so. Just because he's so versatile at guard, he has tackle experience and guard experience, so he can step in in case of an injury or if a tackle is awful, like we've seen. And Suafilo can move. He can actually get to the second level really nice. It's a nice year for guards. It's Suafilo, Yankee, and Martin, and they're sort of 1A, 1B, and 1C. All right. So there's that. Four, yes. Cyrus Quanjo, obviously Alabama offensive lineman. Tons ten, of vowels, by the way. Ten, <laughs> tend to do pretty well moving on to the NFL. Yes, absolutely. And you know, some have struggled a little bit, but uh, the talent is ridiculous there. His frame, long arms, he can he really, he moves people, not in the way that Greg Robinson does, mm -hmm. but he is, he is somebody that can immediately step in, especially on the right side. He's not great getting to the second level, so some of these other guys are, but prototypical strength, not an issue at all. And then Taylor Lewan, mm -hmm. big 10. Angry. He is a very angry Big Ten man. Unbecoming of a Michigan man. Unbecoming. He's very tall, which actually belies his talent because he can get to the second level, plays with a nasty streak, and I don't know if he can play on the right side, which is sort of an issue. You want somebody versatile enough, you're going to take him in the first round, but good enough that he can come in and immediately move people.